Whoa. That's a lot of reading. Okay. Don't, it's gone. <laughs> Maybe I shall share a secret to the boy hope. With a faint ho hope in mind, the boy asked another question. Do you do you think we could you could tell me what you think about when you look at those stars? And the boy asked an intuition like a long long child to hear his mother tell him a bedtime story. I wasn't looking at the stars, she answered. The girl was no older than the boy himself, yet the words carried such weight unheard from the one, young, one so young. Upon hearing those words, the boy felt emotional. Oh, okay. And How then was supposed to read all of this? And then what are you looking for? Asked for the boy, forcing himself to speak through the extreme pain and experience about a possibility. A possibility. Repeated the boy, a possibility for all of us to realize how proud we are what I look for among those stars is possibly the compassion under the girl blah, blah, blah. and her reign with sorrow continued she crushed the boy as a mother would her own child and prayed aloud this world is about the girl little bit of breath he took people need to encounter something much bigger than themselves to fully understand true compassion <laughs> well I wish that I knew what was happening right now but this world will understand someday there wasn't even a start screen and just started going I didn't I wasn't ready for this Oh, now there's a... Oh, now there's... Okay. Yeah. This is a two girls, one quick look. A fault, one milestone. As suggested by... Fault, milestone, one. Whatever. Go... Go... Googleplex bite. Go, Googleplex bite. Yeah, Googleplex... Googleplex plex bite on GameWiz. So, let's start. Three, two, one. In the time of yore, humankind had discovered mana, a naturally occurring energy source that long pulsed through the crust of the world. Humankind utilized mana from the land to craft and create any and all the art of manifest- Zip. A hunter could use pyro blood to kill cook- Um, you could use mana for stuff. There's mana for potions, strengthening foundation of home, improve crop output by manipulating wind. There also existed mana craft- which were hereditary, unique only to certain individuals. Of course. The path down. The path down uses mana as a medium to transfer the memories and experiences of the present ruler to the future heir of the throne. Humankind would deem those in possession of hereditary mana craft to be monarchs. The propagation of the old king's wisdom through path down was evidence enough to cement a country's reputation as a formidable manacraft monarchy. Centuries ago, hell bent on expanding their sphere of influence, the manacraft monarchy started the period of exploration. Even the great seas were no match for their ambitions. The research of manacraft for large scale warfare exploded. The populace's survival drove one monarchy to expansion, stagnant economy the reason for another, ambition drew many others. For the few manacraft monarchies that successfully... I can't read all of this. In the present day, the development of ma facilitated communication revolutionized an already altered world. This form of... <laughs> so, okay. There's a lot of, lot of information to just throw at us at the very beginning. No, it's very just beginning. going too fast. But even then, you're starting your game off with like a book. This a, is a book to education read. Education and knowledge enlightenment was abundant in this new era ushered forth by Comcraft. I, honestly, this should have been an audio book. This should be read to us. Yes. Not, I'm not reading all. Razin had prospered from For perpetual... nine generations, he prospered tragedy, which would ultimately end peace that was established over 60 years ago. This is not enough time to read all this. Nope. And even if it was, you're starting off your game with an actual book. Mm hmm That's a- that was uh, too much reading. Show, don't tell. Well, I mean, tell me a little. I mean, that seemed pretty complicated backstory. Chapter 1, Galvanize. I thought this was like a romance sex game. It could be. Could still be a romance sex game. It could be. Still there. As sparks shot and flames through it, are we gonna see any gameplay or are we just gonna continue to read forever? I don't know. Hey, a girl, I am the one who reached the top of the castle first. A girl who appeared no lot older than a child spearheaded the assault on Virgus the Virgus castle Virgus and was the first to arrive at the highest point of its keep, the Sky Terrace. Yeah! The girl, alert and aware, struck, stuck, 
struck a defensive pose and quickly scanned her surroundings. She held her breath as she surveyed the terrace. Prior to the assault, the girls' party had retrieved intelligence that the Sky Terrace was unguarded and that the object of their pursuit was secluded in the terrace. Hmm. Inheritor of the fabled passed down Mana Kravit in the heiress to the throne. Reveal yourself, Princess of Selfine. Rusenhade? Rusenhade? You know no escaping from this! The girl's shout reverberated through this empty terrace. There was no response to the girl's commands, but she maintained her guard. Despite her appearance, the girl was an experienced hunter. She moved towards the center of the sky, sky terrace, her short stature preceding silent steps precise without waste. This is... Am I supposed to just imagine this? I suppose, okay. yes. Okay. She has to be here, somewhere. With nothing in sight, the girl began to question the credibility of her intel. Doubt overtook her, and she put her hand to her right ear and spoke aloud. Oh, we see a different picture now. Hey, Sian, can you hear me? If you can hear me, respond. I guess she's still pre preoccupied. Our intel was wrong. The target's not here. Nobody's here. The girl relaxed her guard and took a long, deep breath. Hmm. The girl proceeded further into the sky terrace towards the balcony. There was a solid wood dining table at the center of the balcony which overlooked the castle town below. A beautiful embroidery was draped over the table. There were several large dining chairs pushed underneath. Each constructed so each constructed from solid wood and handcrafted with impeccable detail. The table and all its amenities worked, were works of art. Every object from the dining table to the decorations strategically placed throughout the sky terrace screamed of wealth. Perhaps overcome with envy, the girl proceeded to correct a, correct a toppled dining chair at the head of the table and nonchalantly plopped herself at the seat. I'm not trying to hate on you. Google, Google Plex Bite, but uh, I feel like this game would benefit from not this. You know, I'm reading a lot of cool things happening, but I'm not seeing it. A, stra a strange sensation shot through her small frame. A sensation that could only be described as one of grandeur. At the head of the table, overlooking the castle town below, sat the girl, her upbringing a complete contrast to the seat's previous occupants. The absurdity of it delighted her. Teehee! Slam! The uncouth commoner placed her boots onto the now soiled embroidery covering the table, lounged back in the dining chair, and relaxed her eyes. Listen, I'm not trying to be a hater, but I feel like I'm just reading a book. Yeah. I, uh, I, uh, the story that it's unfolding, pretty cool, but this is a book yeah. right now. Whose seat was the girl sitting in? Who could be so fortunate enough to be born into such privilege, to be allowed a seat so grand? Well, I would like to see what's going on. Yeah. Oh, just, are we just a black screen These now? These trivial thoughts bounced around in the girl's mind. Kick, hee, 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 what? <laughs> 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 Come on, Mari, that's not something you say. <laughs> the owner of the chair was of little significance because they had since abandoned the chair, fleeing in fear for their life as the castle came under siege. Can you at least give me a picture? This is black. Yeah. Dude, what? Royalty! If I could eat on a table like this every day, I'd feel right in royal too. The girl, the girl peered down onto the castle town from the balcony and saw the streets engulfed in flames. Beautiful. The town's just glowing, I imagined in my head. After her sarcastic soliloquy, the girl noticed something as she left her seat. Another picture! Yay! Incredible! Girl too. Another girl stood at the entrance from where the first had entered. Mistress Marie. 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 
The girl addressed as Marie responded to her subordinate's greeting with her special gesture of acknowledgement, an impassive wave of the hands. So she's a douchebag. Yeah. You enjoy sitting seat, Coco? Asked Marie of her compatriot Coco in a deadpan, almost intelligible manner. Mistress, this music is so loud. Kiko silently thought to herself. Kiko's compatriot, compatriot apparent Marie appeared no older than Kiko herself. Coco. Grace with the youthful look, but stunted with a child's height. <laughs> what? I don't know. This this seems like this might end up being something creepy. Yeah. While Coco appeared overly belligerent, Marie ap appeared to execute an aura of harmlessness at first glance. However, her foes were also deceived by her aura of harmlessness. The hem of Marie's cloak was dyed from black to damp crimson, crimson with her victim's blood. Maybe I she's a liked, vampire! I would have liked to have seen this. Height? I would like to have seen this, though. Yeah. Instead of imagining it. I'm surprised you made it up here without tearing, tearing up the, the hem. Hmm? Nah. Marie tilted her head at Coco's comment, puzzled. An ethereal question mark seeming to float over her head. Coco made no sense. Why ruin a good cloak? What? No reason. No rush. What? I'm not sure. No. No rush? If you didn't notice, everything's on fire. That's plenty of reason to rush. Thick smoke and the stench of blood polluted the air. Shrieks and explosions echoed through Rugsade Castle. Even though Marie was at the center of the destruction, she was deaf to the orchestra of oblivion in the background. Task near completion, no rush. You do have a point, but... Oh, that's you. Coco was at a loss for words, defeated by Marie's simple retort. Alright, well, I think we played enough of this game. Yeah. I'm not trying to be a hater here, but... Not, I mean, a lot is happening, but I'm seeing none of it. Yeah. And usually I'm all for using my imagination, but I, I paid $5 for this game. Mm hmm So, paid, so, I mean, what, what, what is, what do you, what is this game about? We don't even know yet. They haven't explained, like anything about who these people are unless we completely missed it at the beginning but i mean i was getting like the the, the basic background of the world yeah we were trying to trying to read what was going on but there was so much so much that was a that was a book that yeah. we read and then we were reading another book mm -hmm. so i love the story story seems incredible but i feel like maybe they could they could put more drawings in there yeah. Like, so, I would like to have seen the burning hellscape, her murdering lots of... I would like to have seen that. So... Yeah. That's the only shortcoming. Bye! Bye!